Is so. there is there a possibility that there's going to be all female card? Or? You know, they've mentioned that, um, and I hope so because even if I'm not on that card, which I, I would hope I'd have a place on that card, but even if I'm not on that card, I know that I'm going to be working my ass off to uh, get good matchups and you know work for the girls here. But I think that there, there's definitely a strong possibility for an all female card. Um, it's just going to depend on circumstance, you know, what everything depends on. Everybody wants to do everything, and we see. But I think there's about an 80% chance of an all-female card soon. Cool. What's the latest um, with the, the ladies from your team and, and people you've been working with? On My team? ladies are rocking! <laughs> um, Emily Peters Kagan scored a 23-second TKO in her second amateur fight in Vegas last weekend. Yay for that. Heather Clark just fought her first professional fight last month, and she lost a very, very close decision. She did a fantastic job. Um, they've been hitting the grappling tournaments. Some of the girls who don't fight have been hitting the grappling tournaments and, and getting a lot of success with that. And then I um, believe that uh, this is not part of the MMA team, but of course, you know, uh, Noemi Dennison just had a great victory, uh, I think it was last month? Six weeks ago, I think. And um, Holly Holm will be fighting again in August. And so, you know, we're all Team Jackson Winklejohn, so that's a... Even though if they're not in the MMA part of it, their victories are, are everybody's, you know, happiness. So, 